You're gonna actually see the entire Panama from here. This is an, ama an amazing view of the skyline too, right? Make sure you watch this video to the end, guys. You don't want to miss out on the fun. And some donations are made on behalf of Ananantara Foundation. That's a huge for one person actually. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Shabna Show. Right now, I'm in Panama doing a quick tour. I'm actually in transit here on my way to New York. And I decided to do something different this time. So, from the airport, I had a few hours and I decided to explore Panama a little bit. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go to the Panama Canal because the time is too short. But I'm right now here at Old Panama. Where this is a very historical place. Where... Okay, this is all part of the museum. That's the museum here. Inside. Yes, but uh, this actually is the compound. Across there is a tower where we can go and have a very good view of Panama. Old Panama. Old Panama, right. So, yeah, I'm on top of the a tower. I'm on top here. Where, uh, these guys are doing some upgrading work here also. And the view is absolutely amazing. You can actually see the entire Panama from here. An, amaz an amazing view of the skyline too, right? I'm so happy I decided to do this and I was lucky to meet Carlos at the airport and Carlos drove me around here Hi. Yes. <laughs> Carlos knows a little English so he was able to help me out a little bit give me a good tour and I'm happy for that this is uh, the view from the other side here the skyline over here and uh, over there is the beach. Yeah. Oh, what, That's the beginning of Old Panama, yeah, the, 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 right there. Yeah. Wow, look at the skyline. Yes. Wow. Oh, more, that's more bigger, more bigger. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're going into the museum now. Before I continue this video guys, I made some donations on behalf of Ananantara Foundation and I'd just like to show you some of the clips from that handing over. Hi Naomi, I'm very happy to present you with this monetary donation from Ananantara Foundation. Right, they're from Atlanta, Georgia and uh, they saw your video and they would like to give you this donation so I hope you put it to good use. I remember you said you wanted to do a business out on the road selling snacks and so mm -hmm. so probably this would go toward that right yes. okay. I would so far to say thanks very much for the assistance that they give to me and I'm, I'm thankful for it okay. and God bless the facility there are many many more people that could come up and help like me this is Cindy. Uh, we highlighted Cindy's story as well. And uh, Cindy, I'm presenting this um, little token for you as a monetary uh, donation from Anantara Foundation, right? They're from the USA. Um, I want to say thank you very much. At least it got put in good use. This is Reshma. We also highlighted Reshma's story uh, when we covered this uh, Parika Sidam video. Reshma, this is a monetary donation from Anantara Foundation. For you. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome on their behalf. Hello. <laughs> this is Lalita, uh, Ramesh's wife. Ramesh, you had to do the eye surgery. And um, Lalita, just monetary donation I just give you is on behalf of Anan and Tara of uh, Atlanta, Georgia, in the US, right? Yes, I'm very thankful. Thank you to um, help my husband. Very thanks. Yes, for you and him yes. also, like the family, right? Yes. And um, your children. <laughs> okay. Jones, so this um, cash I just give you, thirty thousand dollars, is on behalf of Anantara Foundation. They're from the USA. Okay. What do you want? Well, to thank do? you so much. Thank them so much. 
God bless them for what they do. Our time bless. Okay, so yes. back again at Greenwich Park, and right now um, it's to help Mr. Josie. You guys remember when I highlighted him and his daughter Ariana? Um, that they needed some help because of the condition they're living in and everything. So the, the story has really touched a lot of people's lives. So one of the person who was touched by the story is someone named Leonard from Canada. So he would like me to present the money I just uh, give to you on his behalf. Thankful for to Mr. Leonard and as I also give the money and thank each and every one who could who donate so so many things to me. Okay. Okay. So to enter the museum, I had to purchase a ticket for ten dollars, and I'm not coming clear, but it's ten dollars, and that would allow Carlos to enter with me also. These are cannons. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cannon. When in each time when we was having war, when nothing was exist. This is one of the things that we was using to oh. war with, with Spain. Oh, okay? Spain, right. Okay. Uh, so here we have Diana. She's a staff here at the museum and she's going to explain a little bit about the archaeology of this place. No, I'm saying that these pillars on this colonnade uh -huh. all correspond to the foundations of the houses that were excavated or assimilated um, to be known at the time. Okay. And the museum occupies a colonial house, uh -huh. mass and form. And in the other part of the museum, the one that's closer to the, the visitor center, okay. you'll see the replica of a colonial house and the form and the materials used in a modern way, but you get the feel of how they used to live back in the colonial times okay. before abandoning the city. Right. Yeah. So, can you explain a little bit about the uh, the bombing of the church and the uh, burning of it when they robbed them of the gold? Okay. The well, when the the pirate Morgan, Henry Morgan, uh -huh. he invaded the city. He was in searching for gold. He came from Portobello and then he came down from the north west side uh -huh. uh, at foot because these waters are too shallow uh -huh. and it was a, most a, a surprise attack. There wasn't a real army here. They weren't prepared, so uh -huh. he advanced, and, and there was a battle. He started looting and and doing the massacre of people and, wow. and all the things. But the governor of the city at the time he decided to start the fire, so he wouldn't get all the gold and all the riches that were uh, in the city. So the burning started by the governor. People were and running, running crazy, and then after the invasion of the pirate, uh -huh. the attack. They started to leave the city to the Casco Antiguo for the settled, okay. uh, the second settlement. Oh, okay. And they took uh, most of the stones to build the new housing and churches back in Casco Antiguo. There were seven convents here, and they all moved over there too. And there's some are still remaining over there, some are not. So this place is an UNESCO World Heritage Site, oh. and our conservation is to maintain it. And as a ruin, yeah. we have the a criteria to keep it as a park, archaeological park, uh, with respect to the ruins. We do do reconstruction, we try to uh, facilitate the interpretation of the site by knowing what was left at the time of the, the, the prior attack. Right, to preserve that, the history. Yes, I mean, yeah. we, we make it stabilize the ruins, yeah. to make it like a archaeological ruins. Uh -huh. Profit Foundation, we get some funds from private and public sector and the entrance and events we do here. Okay, that's great. Okay. Thank you so much sure. for I all this information. Like the museum. Thank you. Yes. This is another view here right now. And uh, it's amazing that the, the currency here is uh, Balboa, right, Carlos? Balboa. But it's actually equivalent as uh, the US dollars. Like one of their money here is equivalent to one US dollar. So it is very high.
Panama is a Spanish-speaking country in Central America and has a population of over 4 million. The country's main source of income is generated from the Panama Canal and the US dollar is used there as their own currency. Not many of the people in Panama speak English, but they are found to be very good-natured and friendly. Panama uses the metro trains as one form of transportation. This Mercado de Calzado is a, comer a commercial of shoes. Only shoes and, and things for do exercise. Only uh, for men. A casual wearing. Uh huh. BDP. And this is a super, supermarket. A biggest one. A, a big one then. Okay. A, a lot of. Oh. Like apartment houses? Okay, so we made a brief stop to get gas and I noticed this place nearby selling these fancy cars. I decided to come and get some pictures. This is a Porsche Macan S. Porsche Cayenne also.
look at this fancy one in here. This is the GTR. Wow. Food cars. Food cars. minutes this bus transports people to the site to the museum let's bring another set right now I think we we'll... so the ride is pretty much empty to go back Yeah. So they have all the, the brands here. It's beautiful. Fancy seat. Wow, this place is simply amazing. The view is breathtaking. The sea is right here, and behind it, you can see the skyline. And uh, Carlos just told me that that building right there. Donald Trump owned that building. But look at this amazing view right here. And what's even more amazing is that the fishermen are right here. They bring in the fish here when they catch them out at sea. And we are going now to a restaurant where we're going to see how they prepare it fresh. And 15 restaurants near. 15 <laughs> restaurants next to each other. Yeah, yeah, rich. Yeah. One, 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 one. Okay. Wow, we have a white we'll have to come back here with family, definitely. Because they are gonna love it. And you guys watching, I'm sure you're gonna love it too. So don't miss out on this great opportunity to come and visit Panama. You really should. And this is the restaurant. Wow. Wow, look at this. You have a choice, everybody. Okay, so there was a big competition to know which restaurant we should go to, but these guys managed to convince us. Yeah. So they gave us uh, the free. What do you call it? Ceviche. Ceviche. Ceviche de pulpo. De pulpo. Ceviche de pulpo to try. Uh huh. So now we're gonna know if I like it or not. Okay. Ay. It's good. It's good. Yeah, <laughs> delicious. Yeah. That's for you. Yeah. Eat it. Yep, yeah, so I'm here right now in the restaurant seeing how they're washing and preparing the fish. They're going to fry. Okay, she's adding some That looks like a lot of good things in there. Yeah. A good season. Yeah. Donde ella? De Guyana. Guyana, yeah. South America. 
¿Cómo? South America. South America. Close to Venezuela, Brasil. Cerca de Venezuela, un poco de Brasil. for watching guys that just concluded my little tour here in Panama I'm heading back to the airport now and I must tell you I had the fish at the restaurant and it was absolutely delicious although it was even better watching them preparing it it was amazing and they're so good at it please remember to like share 
and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already remember to leave a comment i'd love to have your feedback and keep watching we'll bring you more interesting videos now waiting to board the flight to go to JFK and it's really a beautiful airport I always wanted to do the uh, Panama trip it was on my bucket list and uh, coming here today and just doing it for a few hours is not enough I definitely will have to come back because there's lots more to explore and I encourage you guys to come too you will regret it keep watching and supporting the Shabna show and I'll see you in my next video